New at 1030, a Valley woman says she was told she had to go until ABC 15 started asking some questions. We've reported extensively on the homeless crisis in Arizona, but as Ford Hatchet learned, housing to transition out of homelessness can be its own challenge, and it's important to know your rights. Shannon McCracken says things went wrong after two long bouts with COVID. Everything just kind of snowballed and, I, and I, I lost everything. She and her dogs lived out of her car for a year and a half. I didn't wake up one day and say I want to be homeless, you know, and, and struggle. But after months of searching, she was able to find a place that would accept her housing voucher and sign the lease in February. The lights don't work, and those are supposed to work. <laughs> a quick lap around the building reveals problems. You can see the mold there, and then there's cockroach stuff down there. Outside, there are problems with the roof and holes throughout the property. Shannon says she's heard roof rats and seen mice. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not expecting it to be a brand new unit. I just want to be safe in it, and that's it. She took her concerns to property management, then says she received this text last week saying, quote, it'd be best to just have you return the keys and move out by Monday to avoid penalties. Shannon says that's not what she wanted. To fix the, the issues. I've never asked to move. I have never, just fit, please fix these issues. In Arizona, landlords are only required to make repairs necessary to put or keep the premises in a fit and habitable condition. The Department of Housing and Urban Development encourages renters to raise concerns if they feel unsafe, saying, quote, the vast majority of landlords are required to offer their tenants livable premises, including adequate waterproofing, heat, water, and electricity and structurally safe premises. As a renter, it's also important to raise any concerns you have about a unit prior to moving in. Shannon says another inspection has been scheduled for her place later this month. And I feel bad for other people that don't know how to stand up for themselves and speak up and advocate, you know, and they, you know, what if something happens to these people? That's what I'm scared of. In Mesa, Fort Hatchet, ABC 15, Arizona.